McNabb in the shotgun, he steps back, takes the snap, throws it deep, but before he can get it down, he just yaks! Yes, that's right, folks. Uh, so we're teaching her how to use Twitter, we're teaching her how to podcast, how to use the internet, really. Come on, dude, that's that's right. Right. <laughs> It's a nine! Holy shit, it's a nine! It's a nine. nine. Is, it's Blake a nine. Bortles! Like, this is a new strategy. And we were always gonna say we did it so that you'd have a nice weekend. But that's fucking, yourself up. That's so lame. That's like <laughs> the fucking lamest thing I've ever heard. Hey! She is easily twice as big wow. as when we last Let saw Let me see her. from behind. Yeah. So they're locked arms. Oh, are the hands? Are the hands okay to... Oh, those are your hands. Oh man, this studio, so many memories. If these walls could moan. Wait, are we acting or are we doing a podcast? I'm just talking. Oh man, like I thought maybe you were going to do like, oh man, remember when we first met Jake and then the dream sequence? Or we just like, we couldn't, remember I, when I'm, Jake uh, sat right at this table and had his clammy ass fucking hands? Here, so give me a taste of a football play-by-play. -play. Okay. Donovan Matt McNabb is throwing it? Yeah, it's throwing up. Oh, it's throwing up? Yeah. No, there's no play. You go down 40-0. Oh. And you just threw up. Okay. Two-minute offense. Okay. Trying to score before the end of the game. You got the over. Yeah. Yeah. Over's 46 and a half. Okay. McNabb in the shotgun, he steps back, takes the snap, throws it deep, but before he can get it down, he just yaks! Yes, that's right, folks. He freaking yeah. Whoa. Not gonna go the hard F. Because Did you say freak F? Did you teach you that at Syracuse? Yeah. That was pretty good. Yeah. I felt like I was there. I felt like Donovan exactly. Fab just threw up. Yeah, it was crazy. I was looking back at the interview and there was not one piece of decoration in here. Yeah. It was mm -hmm. just this table. The walls are gray. And this square logo. That was it. Yeah, it's like that meme of like, how do guys live like this? And it's just a, a folding lawn chair in the middle of a room with a TV. Mm hmm. Those were the days. This is uh, this has been a very big studio though, for part of my take. A lot of lot of big time moments. A lot of growth. I feel like this is where we cemented being number one. I think this is where we became men. Yeah, we were but boys beforehand. All right, round the room. Favorite interview in this room. Yeah, the Gary Busey one is is probably my favorite. I also like the first time we did Cody and Noel, and that was set up like we had a whole different setup for that. They were on the, like we remember we. Trans transfigured oh, yeah. yeah. The office. Yeah, fullbacks, remember? Yeah, the fullbacks when it was me and Big Cat, Mike Allstott, Lorenzo Neal, then we benched afterwards. Mm -hmm. Lorenzo put up like 80 reps of 135. Oh, Joe Burrow bring in the Heisman Trophy. Yes, that Joe Burrow, cool. Heisman Trophy, David Ortiz. Yeah, what a great interview that Those was. Those few moments. You remember when David Ortiz sat down and then he was just looking through his phone the entire time? And then at the end, Big Cat, after like three questions, Big Cat was like, all right, thanks for coming in. I was like, I got one more question. Have you you do a podcast, David? What's have you ever had a guest on that just doesn't give a shit about doing your podcast? <laughs> He's like, nah, everybody's pretty chill. <laughs> oh. Well, yeah, I mean, I do. Billy, your freakouts in this studio have been all time. Oh, I mean, too many to name, but hot just sauce. off the top of my head, the hot sauce. What a baby ass amount of sauce! I my mouth is burning right really? now. You didn't put on as much as I did. I, Billy, I just did put a ton on here. I put a ton of my last three bites. What's wrong with you? I also What's said I would eat your whole side of the sandwich. I'm eating it because I need to get the spice down. I just fucking covered this and took a huge bite. You're being a baby. Why are you being like this? It's not. Because it's hot. It's no, hot in my fucking mouth. No, that's why. I'm gonna, that's why. If you step to him, I'm going to have to fucking get balls. That's my co host, bro. You step into my co host? Yeah, walk away. Yeah. Walk, away. <laughs> walk away. Walk away. Are you stepping to him? You guys are so pussy. Walk away. We're standing right here. Walk away. We're standing right here. Walk away. Just anger. And when you'd stand up, yeah, when you yeah, when you fucking step to PFT. Yeah. Remember that? You yeah. guys are just really good. 
When Billy deleted just, an entire episode, yeah. hit the wrong button. How is this show. office different from the first office for you? I like the first office better. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Why is that? You were young. I was young. Uh, the vibes were high. Stars in your vibes eyes. Vibes are high here. In the big yeah. city. What does that mean? Naive. Oh, what about um when we did uh, the 24-hour stream? That was fun. I broke the couch. Yeah, you broke yeah. the couch. You also ran a marathon. People sleep on that. Yeah, Billy, actually, that was one of the most impressive things I've ever seen Billy do, was he just, on a whim, ran a marathon in, like, <laughs> six hours. He was like, yep, I'm done. <laughs> but, it, but it wasn't like you were running the entire time, either. You were just running, sprinting, basically. Then you'd just take a break to drink a beer. And then he'd run more. It was honestly very impressive. Out of when you left the first office, did you think you were going to end up coming back here to work? I had no idea how any no. of this would affect my life. That's a no. What do you mean work? Like when he, he left the old office as an intern going to college. Mm -hmm. And I like when he was going to college, like I'm going to end up back at Barstool working full time. Yeah. I had no idea that the outside world was as big, like that there was that many AWLs. Yeah. Mm. I had no concept of what I had stepped into. Mm -hmm. And then I got out. Oh, what about um, back. fun yeah. memory? The... Uh, the gaslighting of the Mountain Dew bottle. Oh yeah, <laughs> that, I mean, that, that, there's, aren't there's, the stains still up there? Is no, that, that's, no, that's, that's that, different. That's that different. The, uh, that was when BFD had a dip bottle full, with no cap next to him, and he tried to say it was beer. Eggs. Yeah, it wasn't dip though. It was fake dip. Right. It was fake dip. But it was dip. It was dip. It was, <laughs> it was spit. Like, it was spit. That's it was the important. Teetering part. to just have the biggest accident ever. Yeah. <laughs> it was like. Right there. Um, yeah, the pumpkin exploding and making this place smell terrible. Whose pumpkin was that? Do we ever figure it's that Billy's. out? Billy's a gourd no, no, no. guy. No, no, the pumpkin wasn't me, but then one time I bought you guys gourds. Yeah. Uh huh. And then you guys were like, forget. who the fuck brought more shit that's going to explode back in here? I was like, what, what happened? And yeah, well, like, pumpkin, pumpkin wasn't explode. you? Whose pumpkin, pumpkin wasn't was That was I thought my you, time. It was an ad thing. I thought you read a chaps blog and then you got some ideas. No, no, I, I had nothing to do with the pumpkin. That was before my time. You remember, you remember Jilly Football? Day by day, I'm going to be doing, uh, I don't know. They haven't really told me yet. Oh, what does she do here in the office? Um, she hangs out. It's mostly, we like having somebody that we can teach things to. Uh, so we're teaching her how to use Twitter. We're teaching her how to podcast, how to use the internet really. Um, and that just makes us happy to kind of pay it forward. Yeah. One thing, there were a lot of conspiracies about Jilly Football, like who she really was compared to the rest of us if there was a relationship. I think we can say now that's Jake's ex-wife. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, it's crazy that you guys held it in this long. Jake's mm -hmm. ex-wife and class. Max's mom. Intern yeah. class. So yeah. Max and Jake for a moment there. <laughs> Stepson. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was, it was Max and yeah. Jake was his stepfather. Hank reminded us of this one earlier, but I shared this couch with a professional snuggler. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that was awkward. Mm -hmm. uh, Saskia and Jake are going to do a cuddle session. or She's going to show us the different cuddle moves. How's it feeling, Jake? Jake, are you feeling nice. relaxed? Yeah. So they're locked arms. Oh, are the hands are the hands okay to, to class? Oh, those, those are your are hands. hands. Those are both oh, your yeah, hands. Yeah, yeah. Got it. I hold hands with clients. That's pretty nice. Oh, I think this is my wrestling finishing move. I just short stack people to death. <laughs> just lay on them. Just fall yeah. like 15 but minutes. I don't do a launch and boom. No, I would just I slowly lay on them. Yeah. That yeah, was actually that was very. Interesting. That was like the last time you came out of your comfort zone. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I had to wear the boobs. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he that wasn't the, in the studio. The but in DC. That was very yeah. good was, of you, though, Jake. Now, was she a professional snuggler or a cuddler? It was one of the two. Yeah, yeah I think cuddler. I got a boner watching you do it. <laughs> yeah, the the whole story of the lottery ball. Billy getting it the first time, then retiring, then I got it the very next episode. Yeah, mm -hmm. 69, 18. Not getting it for yeah. years. two plus years. That was one of my favorite memories of the studio. <laughs> To watch Love Island. Oh my God! It's 69. 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 He finally got it. He got it. Let's fuck it. No shit. It's 96. Oh no. Damn it. Sorry, Billy. No, it's 69. It's 69. <laughs> Wait, who do you have to teabag? He said somebody. Somebody's Someone's getting teabag. Billy, what are you yo, yeah. Billy, Wait, we're Billy. not leaving this room. I said. Yeah. Getting the lottery ball. I'm just very happy I, I, I did it in this office. Hank, your Raiders Patriots game when we like recent, never yeah. record at the uh, four o'clock games and 
We started recording right at the beginning. The lateral from hell. Yeah. Oh, there was a a March Madness game. Big Cat, I think you had a winning bet on it was TCU. TCU. A exactly. random last yeah, second yeah. shot. When you let the ball dribble up and he hit that three. That what about crazy. what about Max winning three different uh like major playoff either championships or Mm -hmm. Big series. That was huge. Up. MLS, yeah. MLB, Super Bowl all in one season. He he lost like a lifetime's worth of losing in six months. Yeah. All in that seat. I think I've lost more than... I think I've lost more champion... Eh, no, no, not championships. Because well, no, you can count, count the union. You're I can count union the union. Guy. I have a question for Max. What What is it like... Uh, I don't even know how to explain it because obviously it's always been our space and I always viewed it as that. But what was it like working here seeing things go on around this studio but not being involved and then becoming stepping involved. into the into the vortex like, into the belly like, of the what, like what was what did it seem like from the outside like what was going on in here i mean this is this doesn't feel like the rest of the company if that makes sense <laughs> okay. like when you're working as just like a normal as just like a normal producer it's like oh okay you're like step like doing the corporate ladder blah 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 and then it's like Okay, everyone is is their own entity, and then it's like, and then there's part of my take. It's Sitting like in this weird this like room. this room is kind of like, obviously everything is still incorporated, but it's like, oh, okay, like that's part of my take's room. No one messes with, messes with this room. No uh, yeah, yeah. People, I have a question about that, Max. People are scared. Are, of the room. Yeah, are people afraid of us? Yeah, really? Not afraid, but it's just like, you don't mess with you don't you don't mess with part of my take. Hell yeah. Which is weird to Fuck say yeah, now yeah, that I'm right. now that Good. I'm here. That's probably like, cuz we killed an intern back in 2018. Yep. Set the that stage. I mean that story gets thrown out no everywhere. One fucks yep. with us. RIP Ken Jack. Him. Yeah. Yeah, it's a clone. That is a good question though, Hank, because it is would you say also from the outside like we're always in here. Yeah. And there's it, just noise coming out of here. Well, and, honestly, yeah, I think sometimes there's like there's there's definitely been podcast ends on a high note and then it spills over and we're like yelling at each other and I'm sure the door opens and it's like what is like mm -hmm. yeah like when they're just yelling at each other I'm looking uh, back at my memories I did my first ever Jake Aiton here oh Jake yeah what you was guys it? sang the Have song what did you ate I think it was food in his face. oh I gotta scroll back it was like some Taco Bell crazy hot dog or Taco Bell the yeah sports business like minute fast food I think it was a donut I th actually think it was a donut Happy birthday, Krispy Kreme Donuts. This week, the 82nd anniversary of the special famous American Donut Place. It is the original filled birthday batter donut. So there's 350 calories in this thing. You could eat one of these, which I'm about to do, or three and one third bananas. Fruit, healthy, meh. I'm going with the donut. Let's give it a go. Mm. Funniest moment for me in this studio, I think, was the PFT eye reveal stream when we were doing the subathon and we told people it had to get a oh, number. Yeah. <laughs> and it was going, like, it would get close and then go way down. It was fucking with us so we hard. Were, and then we were at the trying last to get to second, like... it, like, crept up. And, like, it, it, it felt like people were fucking with us and we were never going to get to the top. Uh, push, push, push. Push, 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 Please go up. Push. Please go up. Push. Please. Go up. Push. No. Push. Go up. 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 Subscribe. 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 Push. 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 No. Stop. Stop. Oh. Yes. Push. Yes. Go up. Yes. Go up. Yes. Push. Oh my God. Go up. Heroes. They're heroes amongst us. Oh my God. We went down. We're, we're at 305. Oh my god, we're at 305. Two. Oh, Heroes 20 among seconds. us. Heroes among us. Do it, do it 10 seconds. Unbelievable. I love those people. Wow. You legends. You are the best. That was it, that was like William Wallace holding Ten. the line. 10. Good people. Nine. Nine eight. Seven. Six. six five. Look four, at all these numbies. Three. Two. two one. one. Hey, guys. It's me, PFT. Oh! Freak out. We're pretty freaky. Again, I worked out today, so I've got workout eyes. Oh my god. Look at these. Look at these mole eyes. If I could kiss your eyes, I would. All right, sunglasses go back on. All right, Love there you guys. We go. Now it's not weird. Now, now it's not weird. weird. It's not now weird it's anymore. Not weird. Now it's not weird. Now it's not weird. And then it just like 
barely got there. It we was went great. Nuts. It was one of the like five hundred four thousand. Was that yeah. the number that we ended up staying on after we ch we changed the rules like nine times yeah. during that stream? And I was like, well, my eyes are just never coming yeah. out. That was that was a big moment for me because now I get to actually like watch games on television. So thank you to everybody yeah, that was a part of that. You probably saved your eyesight, and that that also was so great because it was like, what did we expect? Like. We are a humor sports podcast that doesn't take anything seriously. Yeah. Our fans are a mirror of us. I like I like got like emotionally like happy being like, yeah, they're fucking assholes too. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. <laughs> like like that's it. We're all a bit a, a like gang of just like loser slash assholes. Yeah, we're like proud of it. If uh if Jackass had a pirate ship. <laughs> it was just great. It's like good good play. PMTV is brought to you by the Barstool Sportsbook. Go download it right now. Use code TAKE. If you download it, use code TAKE. First time users, $1,000 in bonus cash. If your first bet loses, I'm looking at the Barstool Sportsbook right now. I'm pulling it up. I know that the Celtics play tonight, and Hank, just good things always happen to him. So Celtics minus eight might be the play. You're shaking your head, Max, but I... I Unfortunately, I think this is going at least six. Heat money uh, line. What? Heat money line. Heat money line. It's Max's play. You can do it all in the Barstool Sports. If you bet the heat money. You know what? Let's go heat money line. Plus 255. I'm with Max. Plus 255. Barstool Sports. But go download it right now. One one fun future us, uh, you know, example of this studio is, is we used to constantly talk about wishing we had a bench press in our old studio. Yeah. And then we got it. And... Never really use it for. Content. It really has been in the way yeah. for about four years. <laughs> we had uh, some fun. Well, no, no, we had some great sessions. No, what, Billy, what you're talking like? We yes, we were we, we did work out occasionally in the studio, but it was not a part of content except for maybe two weeks. And it's also like the way the studio is set up. We've basically <laughs> been like we built a studio around the like the bench press is always comfortable. We want to make sure the bench press has its space, <laughs> and then we'll have like interviews. Like PFT can't really see Hank. Half the time we're interviewing someone, I can't see their face. Yeah. So it's like the angles are so not conducive to a podcast. No, I, I definitely can't see Max. I can't see Hank when we record. Basically, I have to look at Jake or Billy, or if I'm looking at Big Cat, I have to turn my entire body to the side to look at him. We did an interview the other day. I can't remember who it was. I couldn't see their eyes the entire time. Because they leaned back behind the camera. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was just like, this does not make any sense. Yeah. Yeah. We'll but the bench we'll press we'll, was we'll, happy. We'll put, in a, we'll put in POVs. Yeah, the, the bench press was happy. There it was, was comfortable. There were some great Dungeons and Dragons in this room. Oh, we yeah. brought Tim Woods back and got yes. him involved in the mix to a permanent extent. Yes. I personally feel like we should run back our characters and add yeah, Billy, Billy to our crew. Yeah, so I, so, all right, so I'd be, I'm a barbarian. Uh, I'm a, PFT I'm a is a bard, bard right? and Hank I'm is a warlock. a warlock. So then warlock. Billy... Is that like Gimli from Game of Thrones? Is that warlocks? Uh, I mean, uh, Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings, absolutely. So I see what Billy saw in As her. we are flown through the air, she is easily twice as big wow. as when we last <laughs> saw her. Let me see her. from behind. Yeah. Ooh, look at that cloaca. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they leap up to you. He starts throttling you and digging your claws in. Oh. And that was the bad part. Here's the worst oh. part. Oh. Damn it, Tim. As the claws dig into your neck, you start to feel your muscles Locking oh, no. up. Oh no, this you poison. are paralyzed oh. by the claws <laughs> of the They're gonna ghoul. have to push you around and you're oh. fat as fuck. That was yes. wonderful. I thought I mean we talked about it on the show today, so this may not make sense, but that I thought that might have been a flop when we first did it. I did too. And then the reaction was so overwhelmingly positive, it was like, oh wow. But it's all credit to Tim Woods. Yeah. Because oh, if sure. it was any other person, it would have flopped. But I also just thought the audience was going to be like, what the fuck is this lame right. shit? But mm -hmm. it's Tim Woods. Yeah. Tim Woods can sell anything. Uh, sometimes, Hank, it'll just pop my head that we both were not that close, but semi-close to drinking our own piss on yep. camera. Yep. That oh, would have yeah. sucked. I was ready for that. That oh. would have sucked. So yeah, we, we peed during Dungeons & Dragons. We yep. peed a lot in yeah. the studio, yep. actually. There's been a lot of urine. You have no, the I shield gotta, spell. That's yes. gonna be very helpful. I gotta pee here. too. I was just gonna pee in this bottle. I was too, but I wanted to ask Tim first. Yeah, can I? Can we pee in our bottles? I am totally fine. I, I actually just got here. this one out for that reason. Okay. Absolutely. I'm reminded that I have my bottle here that I'm gonna use as well. Absolutely. And uh, um, yeah. So <laughs> hey, don't look. 
<laughs> so, Liam, blur out my penis. Cake, you are taking up the position against the ghouls. I'm gonna roll against you first while they're okay. busy. I just peed a little on the oh tire. Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! Hydrated. Yeah. That's a con <laughs> that's a constitution save right there to pinch off. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Um, just pee a little on so the tire. So if you use shield, no you'll be safe from the claws. <laughs> it's like a water oh, no, oh, no. jersey. I overflowed. I overflowed. Yeah. It's yeah. not, it doesn't hold I, as much I as you think. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you guys have the exact same color piss. PFT and I were talking about this the other day. Who do you guys think is the biggest name to be in the studio? There's been some good Mello. ones. Mello. Carmelo. If you're if you're talking like worldwide, probably Carmelo. Mello. Stephen A is big. Stephen A. A. Rod. Yeah, Mark Cuban. Stone Cold. Gronk. Gronk. Yeah. Mr. Portnoy. Uh, Mr. Portnoy. He, was he ever in the studio? That was I think on so. Skype. No. no? We're still on his short shorts. Was he in the studio? Yeah, he's yeah. been in the studio. We've had him here. Yeah, I remember. I remember he had his dick. John Rothstein. That was, a, that was in LA. <laughs> just like dick and balls out. That was LA. No, yeah, no. He, well, he has his dick and balls out every time. I must not have been in for that one. I don't remember that. I think DeVito slept on for big name. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, he could not fit on that couch. That couch. <laughs> Swallowed him. <laughs> there are some names that uh, come up once in a while that I completely forget that we've ever had on the show. Oh yeah. Like we, I think the Instagram put out a clip of Robert Ori the other day. Space totally space on COVID. him. Wow, we should do that sometime. Is like we should actually sporkle, do like a where, sporkle of no, our guests or like oh have Je Jeff do like Who a do special edition Probably dozen. Jake. A special edition dozen where it's like all it's like Jeopardy style and we have to get name guests that have been on the show. I think what, between us three, if we did a sporkle of of every guest, I think we get fifty percent. No, we get higher, that. but it would be there's so many gimmies that are regular guests. We would not. We would definitely leave out some people. I'd say eighty percent. Yeah, we should make that. Jake would do probably do the best. Even Jake, can you I'll create this for you guys. Oh, yeah, yeah we'll, we'll compare compare your scores. Yeah. yeah. All the Mount Rushmores. Fantasy baseball draft. Mount Rushmore is great. Pizza toppings. Mm -hmm. Was that two years ago? Oh yeah. That oh yeah. Man. Hanks, I don't Hanks think Mount Hanks Rushmore. Ever been as mad? <laughs> that as was, he was that was no, the breaking moment. I was, I was moment real for life Hanks. mad. Yeah, yeah. No, that that was the moment that where Hank, two years ago, Hank right? became yeah. the Joker. No, I had a lot of shit going on, and that, that was not what one I did. Mount Rushmore of pizza toppings. We're going back to basics. Let's go. Let's go, Hank. This way, I think I can get what I want on on the on third. The, on the comeback. Yep, I'm starting. Hank, you start. Pepperoni. Fuck. I'm gonna take uh, sautéed onions. I like black olives. Ooh, uh, I had it on my list. Pizza. I had it on my black list. Black olives have the most the most flavor they do. per surface they do. area of any pizza topping. Sausage. Wait. I don't know how that got back to me. I thought they took sausage. What is no, your no, first no. pick? Oregano. Oregano. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I took ham. Okay, okay. Isn't ham the same thing? Yeah, I fucked that up. And I have that written down. I fucked that up. Barbecue up. chicken. <sighs> Fuck. Okay. okay. I think I'm going to go with ol uh, green olives. Ooh. I like doing a mixture. I like doing both green and okay. black. Hey, Can't believe I this like one it. lasted so long, but anchovies. All my top four are still, still available. Nothing got taken off. Bacon. Uh, Hank, do you want to do first because you're coming off a big win? Yeah, I gotta, I gotta tell you guys something. First of all, can we just? I was in my own head because there was an overwhelming amount of comments telling, telling me you guys threw it. No. Mm -hmm. All right, I didn't think so, but it was one of those things where I. There's no way you win 88 percent of the vote. It wasn't me. What, what else is Liam now? Yeah, we fucking threw it, dude. Are yeah, you serious? Did you actually yeah. think we you? didn't get sausage on the background? <laughs> well, I, no, that's what I think said. I was on the wraparound. Right. You, so you, you, you guys ruined Mount Rushmore. <laughs> <laughs> now, you like, guys <laughs> both told me you guys. <laughs> we all ruined it. Yeah. You, got, you guys At both told me time. that you were cheating within <laughs> five minutes of each other. Where I thought I was getting fucked with. <laughs> but you guys saying, like, we're just, like I'm I, I'm not doing Mount Rushmore, period. What are you talking no, about? You ruined it, too. We both ruined it together. No, 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 no. Someone else No, no, no. No, no, no. I, I employed a strategy. I was always going to say, like, this is a new strategy. And we were always going to say we did it so that you'd have a nice weekend but that's and pumping fucking, yourself up. That's so lame. That's, like, <laughs> the fucking lamest thing I've ever heard. Hank, You no. guys are fucking losers. No. I usually don't let myself get mad. Do you, rem do you realize? I was mad. Do you realize in, 
looking back on it, we were no, doing you it ruined, out of love. You ruined Mount Rushmore. We were doing it out of the day. love of our hearts. You needed a win so bad. No. You Would you guys, get pepperoni and sausage? <laughs> bacon. And bacon. You're like, how did I get this? I think you got we, pepperoni, we, sausage, and bacon. We were like anchovies. Yeah. <laughs> and everyone was like, yes. No, I, I, think the, I think the time when I thought we totally gave it away was when... I think PFT said like oh. red onions or something. No. I was like, oh, that was my pick. Yeah. <laughs> I, w I think I went double olives. I went green olives followed with Never black olives. Done. And then Big Cat was like, fuck. Yeah, <laughs> shit, double olives. So I was listening to that like just as a listener and I love veggie topping. So I was like, oh, okay. Like that's a, that's, I thought it was like very <laughs> legit the entire time. And <laughs> someone had like mushrooms, <laughs> red onions. And I was Dude, like, I have that's a pretty, that's a pretty good, pretty good list right Jake there. Jake and Billy had oregano, peppers, <laughs> spinach, anchovies. I had pineapples, <laughs> onion, basil, ricotta. <laughs> If he had ham, black olives, green olives, mushrooms, and then Hank had pepperoni, sausage, BBQ, chicken, and bacon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Hank, it, it, was, it was purely done out of love for you, though. Yeah, but you just, you know, PFT ruined the integrity of Mount Rushmore forever. That's People, fine. PFT did double yeah, olives, and I did, I did more cheese on a pizza. Ricotta. <laughs> Your Big Cat's Pizza sounds like one that you would get for, like, $29 at a restaurant you yeah. take your mom to. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, fuck. that was heated. The dip spit was real. That was heated between you two. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I was well, enjoying it. Me. I, but so I was. I, I usually don't get to do like you guys. Usually will gaslight me together, and I'm at, mad at one of you guys. This that was one of the only times like you guys were like really mad at each other, and I was just like an innocent bystander, just like pushed, being like, oh, yeah. I don't know, like I don't like. I don't. I was like, I don't think. I was like, it might be yours, big cat. Like, no, it's not. <laughs> I, I did not know in the moment that it was my dip spit. I wasn't <laughs> was intentionally so lying yeah, about no, it. That's why it was so funny. Yeah, yeah. It was so obvious. Was it funny. still might not have been mine. <laughs> <laughs> we were both dipping a lot at the time. And and the free throw line debate got some that was somewhat like contentious as well. It was also just depressing. Yeah, because we just we did it for like twenty minutes. Can you jump? Lay the ball in, and if it goes into the basket before you land... I don't think so. I think that you can, because it's when the foot lands. I don't think you can go past the line, though, with the ball in your hand. Jake, can you look that up? I mean, there's no way. Yeah. In the it, air. In no, the but air, you're, it's, the it's ball would be waters. in your hand across the line. Do you think you're the no, first person to think of this? But if you have really long arms, and you just stand but flat-footed and lean over... I'm sure that when they're doing the pimp grip, the underhanded shot, Why would your no hand goes in front of jump the line. In. You're saying jump Jump in. in the air, yeah. But he's then holding the ball over the line. But I think it's only if your feet touch the ground. I think you have to be behind the line when you release the ball. I'm, I just Googled it. Can you dunk from the free throw line? It says, no, you cannot dunk from the free throw line. Maybe because you. there are rules in place forbidding you to cross the free throw line until the basket hits the rim. What website is that? Sounds like Bleacher <laughs> I don't Report. Know why. <laughs> I mean, you're acting like they, if they, like there's yeah, someone whose done entire this. jobs are to think about basketball. <laughs> there's so many tall basketball players that suck at free throws. So this is not something that's like you just came up with. Think you, of, okay, yeah. here, how about this, big cat? Can you lay up from the free throw line? Yes, it's where you jump from. Players end up inside the three point line all the time when they shoot, and it still counts as all a right, three. Rule number one, rule number nine the free throw shooter may not step over the plane of the free throw and line that's a, that's a until the ball touches the basket that's ring. That's just a live ball. Backboard or f what? <laughs> Isn't that just for like the live ball? What do you mean? Not, not about the, viola the time violation. The ball, you can't cross the free throw line until the ball touches the basket ring. Right. Right. So that means you can't jump over the free throw line. But they don't with measure. The ball on your they hand. don't. They don't judge the air. They yeah. they judge the lines like I out think of bounds. They do. Big cat, you can jump out of bounds with the ball, but as long as you don't touch the ground. But you're don't not you out of think bounds. someone would have done this if you could do this? No, because they're not as brilliant as I am. <laughs> can I clarify what I meant? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean dunking a free throw. My whole question was. Is it defeat crossing the line in the air? Does that count as being a violation? Because if the ball went in before the feet hit the ground, is that a violation? So dunking, not dunking. Well, like because you can't do touch a floater. The yeah, like a floater. Like you jumped into the floater. If the ball went through before you landed, that was yeah. that's what I was saying. I think it's illegal. It's definitely illegal. It's very <laughs> illegal. Yes. Who do you guys think was the first guest in here? Oh, good question. Great question, Hank. First guest in who will be Jake the last. was the first interview. I'm well, thinking there were back a bunch to like... that day. So it's like this time four years ago. 
Oh, so I'm man. here four years. So, so it's around Memorial Day. 2019. 2019. It might have been. I think I have. Tim Howard might have been one of the I first. I was going to say Rose here. Lavelle. No, uh, she was in the she old was one. The old one. Oh, that was in the old one. Maybe yeah. we, we had a sign it. because it was still when Call Her Daddy worked at Barstool. There was a yes. sign that was up in the room that we used that said, please don't do cocaine in the bathroom. There's one that I just scrolled around on our YouTube that I had no idea was ever David in here. David Spade. Joakim Noah. Yeah. Oh. He was a good interview. Yeah, he was great. That might have been before me. We drank his mushroom tea. But yeah, David Spade. Sneaky. David Spade came in studio? No. Yeah. I, 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 I remember yep. I, the, my, my like, dogs. memory Damn. is trying to remember guests that were in here with the gray wall. Yeah, because that was up for like two or three weeks, yeah. and that we probably had like five or ten guests. It might have been DeAndre Jordan was up there too, right? Yeah, and he, he was like, they were like, don't talk about that. going to the Nets oh, yeah. or the Nets or anything with the Nets. And then he walked in, and we're like, hey, so we can't bring up the Nets? He's like, yeah, you can. I just signed with them. Mm -hmm. This PR person tried to do an all-time spin zone on us. Boss was in here pretty early. He was. Yeah. It's crazy to think like how bad my memory is, but we can, our lives are basically just, we can just go look it up. We should actually have Kirk Goldsberry be sick if he could make a map of all of our guests. Yeah. And the amount of times they've come on, that would be awesome. That'd be good. And maybe even do one like, maybe even make it like a, I don't know, we'll figure it out, but that would be a sick one that. Who do you think would be number one? It's Whitney. It's gotta be Whitney, mm, right? Whitney no. is up there. Bortles is probably up there. Titus. We've done this. Who is it? I think it's Jules. Portnoy, Bortles. I think I'm, we're one and two. Whitney's gotta be high. Rosillo's up there too. Whitney's gotta be top four. Because think about it, we've had him on at least like, like three or four times a year for seven check. years. What about Randy Moss? Oh, Randy yeah. Moss, sneaky one. Yeah, Florio might be. Yeah, Florio's definitely up there. Lenny Dykstra. I think it's Portnoy or Bortles. Dude, can we call Lenny one time? I don't have his number anymore, and he also he's working on his recovery of not being in prison. He's, yeah, he's spent the entire last month not being in prison. Yeah, we never call Lenny in this office. So this is from PMT Stats and Info, May 31st, 2019. So four years ago, Bortles was the leader with 22, Port, Mike Portnoy 16, Ryan Whitney 14. That was four years Whitney's ago. Whitney's definitely been on more than those two guys since. Yeah, that's probably true. But my memory was right. Chris Long, 12. Yeah, Florio, 12. Like Titus, ago. 12. Yeah, that's five years ago. Four <laughs> years ago. So, yeah. I think it's probably Whitney. Shout out to Wit Dog. Shout out to Wit. Uh, Remember okay. Bla the Blake Griffin's Blake of the Year parade? That was fun. Yeah, that was the best. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, was like cool. Jilly throwing confetti. Yeah. There were some great Blakes of the Year in the studio. Yeah. Whoa, Whoa, that was quick. That was shit. quick. Brooks, okay, Brooks. Blake, Blake, excuse me, Blake. <laughs> oh. That you just answered in 7.9 seconds. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, 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 oh. Shut up. Holy shit. Oh my god. 2.8 seconds. Oh my god. All right, we'll call you back, but as of right now, you are in the lead. It's just sitting there saying calling mobile. New Blake of the Year. Wow. If he doesn't even pick up. Every uh, Blake is going to pick a number. We're going to hit the thing, and it's whoever gets it first. This is the best idea we've ever had. Yeah, it really is. Is that 18. 18. 18? Yeah, you're right. Like five more turns, and then it's like, oh, wow, this is really bad. Yep. Jam in the machine. 62. 62. Okay. Oh. I, I'm getting physically exhausted. <laughs> 52. 52. 52. That's 52. almost there. Yeah, we're getting close. We're getting there. Well, if you're, you're just there. joining in, this is our first <laughs> roll for the Blake of the Year. One of the all-time misses by me and PFT in terms of ideas. It is. It is a nine. nine. It's a Holy nine. Holy shit! It's a no. nine. Guys, it's Blake a nine. Bortles. It is a two-man race this year. Um, before we do it, so how we're going to do it is, is PFT has come up with some trivia. That we are going to give the Blakes, um, and we'll decide Blake of the Year from that. Blake Bortles, how many people has Matthew Broderick killed? Ooh. Is it A, none, B, one, C, two, D, all the above? 
I'm going to be honest. I don't even know who Matthew Broderick is. <laughs> okay. That's perfect. What is the difference between a sea lion and a seal? Is it A, the nose, B, the ears, C, the penis, D, all the above? I'd say the... Well, not the no. Uh, I'd say the ears. Yeah! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, got it! Got it! Blake Bortles. Blake Bortles. Your chance to respond. Complete this Drake lyric. You gotta be <laughs> nice for what to these? <laughs> <laughs> that, he got like a whole verse and I get three words. <laughs> Complete the lyric, Blake. <laughs> it's called Tails. This what? is for Blake of the Year 2022. It is Tails. Whoa! Oh, congratulations, Blake! Blake Griffin has won 2022 wow. Blake of the Year. The King returns. What a call. Tails never fails. Wow. He's emotional. Oh. He's emotional, folks. We'll Our do the last Jake. one here, too. We'll tape it here. What did we do? Did we do Blake? Yeah, we did Blake trivia last yeah. year, right? Yeah, maybe we'll do that again. Uh, that was the, good. Thank, the thanks, I, I, I very much enjoy the the thanks, Jake. Very cool. And that was Jake would do the sports minute, and you guys wouldn't even listen to it. Oh yeah, and pre recorded like, the sports so business minute. So well, hard. we wouldn't even play it. Like we would put it in, so you guys would have had to have listened to it beforehand, which you didn't. I just yeah, but then you'd be like, cool. "Thanks, Jake. Was, very yeah, cool. He just did a good job. <laughs> you just trust your guys. Very cool. Yeah, but I didn't care. Like yeah. I was." I was yeah. here. It was very cool. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. Uh, worst moment in the studio. I've I've got mine. <sighs> Double olives. It's a personal one. Double olives. That's the worst moment, Hank. Something wow, that we did we out really of love. Really fucking did some psychological damage on you. Are you afraid of being loved, Hank? I just like. I think I'm very good at like not getting actually mad, and that like pissed me off. Yeah. <laughs> A made up and I think that's about the pizza. only that's the only time I can think of where I was actually like fuck you guys. I would I would love to hear you explain that to a psychiatrist and be like these motherfuckers. I wanted to Dude, kill everybody in the room. <laughs> it was a game where we tried to come up with the best pizza. Well, I would always and they win, let me and then win. you guys would get mad. Like, well, we shouldn't even do the polls. Like, let's not even do the polls, and then you just you know ruined it forever. But you got what you wanted. <laughs> boo, 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 boo. Okay, um, when Billy injected me with mystery chemicals, that yeah. was my low point. Don't don't fucking jam I, it in there. You have to. That's not. I don't. I don't trust Billy. I'm not jamming it in. You're about to just like go like that. I'm not. Yeah. How? You're, I'm you're, gonna put in slowly, pierce the skin, and then just slide it in. Okay. All right. Fuck. Stop moving away. Ready? Three, two. But it worked. Uh, yeah, but it's the it's I'm a process guy. The process was flawed in that one. The results were great. Y yeah, but that's fuck the process. The results were amazing. Okay, all right. I still get scared thinking of that moment. Dude, you're gonna get another injury and you're gonna like hit me up. No. Yeah, for sure. Um, I'm, I'm never gonna get injured again. One more. Again. This was during the grit stream, so not really in here, but. When Big Cat, out of every player to ever play baseball, guessed that I was holding a Buster Posey yes. card, oh, the first that card. was insane. I said I was holding the first card; it could have been anyone. That was in, that was insane. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, all we, right. Well, have, have we thrown up in the studio? Probably. I think you did because you did that wine and uh, oh, the pasta stream. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. But besides that, has there has there been a puke in here? Liver King smelled like puke. I've left to go to the bathroom a lot. I spent the yes, floor once, yeah. and Big Cat was. Oh, I mean, you casually just like, like we're in a saloon in the old west. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you doing? Um, okay, it's to, been good. Yeah, to many more uh, memories in the new studio. Our new ones will be better. Yeah, we still got to junk it up the new studio. I nah. mean, I think that's gonna happen naturally. Yeah, we'll just fucking throw every all the that shit. I did Give me it, one week in you there. You know, yeah. intern Billy was like, "All right, clean the studio," and then a guest would be coming in and it would just be like, "Oh, like I, the embarrassment I felt." When people come in here, like mm -hmm. I feel fine when we're in here, but there's been times where like you walk in and you're like thinking about it from a guest walking in for the first time and like I what like they're gonna look though. around and see. It's like, oh, it's kind of a it test to see can them. you hang? Yeah. You know what I liked? There was one moment where uh, with the Stephen A. Smith interview, where he walked in and me and Big Cat met him in the studio and we weren't gonna have enough time, and we told Stephen A. Smith to leave. <laughs> yeah. We were like, it's not, it's not worth it, bro. Turn yeah. around, walk away. 
Well, we also are addicted to canceling interviews. It's the best feeling in the entire world. Yeah. Because we knew he'd come back. Yep. But it was like the best feeling ever to be like, oh, you have this thing you have to do? Nope. See ya. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Yeah. To many more memories.